Alright, this video, I'm going to be teaching y'all how to be a shooting phenom on NBA 2K17. If you guys are new to the channel, you want to see daily 2K17 videos, be sure to subscribe. Make sure to like the video if you enjoy. Let's get into it. Now you guys know I'm a sharp shooter shooting guard, 87 overall right now. My three point shot is max. And so what that means is I have a 94 three point shot, you add the plus five boost you can buy. I literally have a 99 shot. But that's not the reason I shoot really consistent. Now if you are a sharp shooter this video, you're gonna learn how to not miss any fucking shots. And if you aren't a sharp shooter, you're gonna learn to at least be able to make the open ones. So let's get straight into this. Now the first thing you should do, head into your shots and choose a shot release that makes sense for you. Now this part is by far the most important part. Every other thing will just kind of help give you a little edge, but this right here will determine it all. There are some players that just don't have good releases, so go through them. And if you're using all the other tips I mentioned in this video and things aren't working out, switch, 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 try out 30, 40, 50, and then narrow it down to your top five favorite. And then narrow it down to your top three, top two, and then choose your favorite form. I've went through five forms so far, and so far Kobe Bryant's my favorite form and it's crazy because in past 2k's I absolutely hated Kobe Bryant's release so the forms are a lot different this year from 2k 16 keep that in mind Melo someone who had a slow release last year much quicker this year opposite for Curry who has a much slower release in this year's game and so you also have to keep in mind that some shooters like Curry are one motion shooters so they, I mean the shot goes up in one motion opposite with Kobe Bryant is he's a two motion shooter so he'll pull the ball back before he actually shoots it forward now you can go with what's comfortable for you but it is a lot easier to know when to release a ball with a two motion shot like Kobe. And so Kobe's a release that I use. I happen to have Melo in here. He's one of the connections I've been building on my career. So he's in here shooting on my mic court right now. The next thing you need to know is you cannot at any point in 2K17 ever shoot with the fucking square button. Let it go. You're not shooting with square anymore. You know what's crazy right now is I have Kobe's form equipped. But it, I'm, this is Melo's form I'm shooting with. I know because Melo's in the fucking building with me. What is happening right now? This is not Kobe. All right, so just for example, I'm going to be using Stephen Curry's form to just demonstrate how to shoot properly. He's, 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 you want to work on some threes. That's exactly what the fuck we're working on. And so if you guys look at the bottom of my player, it shows a little ticker aiming towards a white line. You want to have your ticker as close to the white line as possible. And you do that by directly when you're shooting with the right stick pulling down. If you aim it a little to the left or a little to the right, your shot will be inaccurate. And so although the right stick is a boost, if you fuck up your right stick and you go 20 degrees to the right, you are not making your shot. There's a 0% chance. But once you get used to it, because it's taken me a little while to get used to it myself, it is so incredibly effective. You'll be glad you stopped clicking square. So let's say yes, we'll work on our three pointers. And right now, that's what we'll do. So we. And so you see right down the middle of the ticker right there. The timer is running down and this bitch is walking all the... Come on, 2K. What the fuck, yo? I'm... <laughs> the shot stick is just something that's going to take practice. By habit, I know a lot of y'all probably been running with square for a while now. But y'all also have to keep in mind that when you're using the shot stick, there's a bigger delay. There's actually a delay in the input of the controller. Which means if you're coming off an off-ball screen, you might not have enough time to actually pull up. And so it definitely comes with this negative. It's not a flawless technique. That being said, it's a lot more consistent than square. Although you can pull up a lot faster with square, just like that brick I just shot with the square, you'll be way more consistent with the shot stick. The next tip, and this is something you're going to have to get used to, and it's probably another habit you're gonna have to kick, is stop looking at that shot meter. Don't even look at it no more. You should no longer be looking at the shot meter playing 2K. The 2K devs themselves said that the shot meter is not entirely accurate. It's just, it'll, it'll give you an accurate representation, but it won't be exact. And because it's not exact, if you stare at the shot meter and go, oh, it was right on the line, how come I didn't get an excellent release? is because you weren't looking at your actual player. So if it helps you, you can literally go ahead and turn off the shot meter. But then again, you might need the shot meter because it helps me know if my right stick when I'm using my shot stick is accurate or not. So that's why I keep it on. But get into the habit of looking at your player when you release your shot. And then the next thing I want to bring up is the delay. When you're playing by your own, there's not going to be a delay when you're playing offline my core or my court. When you're playing online, just know that you're going to have to release the ball a little bit earlier than you'd release it when you're playing offline just because of the latency between. If you notice latency in the game, obviously you're going to have to compensate by releasing early. And so it'll fuck up the way you shoot the ball a little bit and it'll take you a little bit while to get used to playing between offline and online, but it's something you're gonna have to end up doing regardless. Yo, you use all of these tips 
and there is no way you can't be successful shooting the three ball. I mean, it's really all about rhythm when you're shooting your shots. Shoot with rhythm. Shoot when it feels like you should release the ball as you would in real life. Try not to do everything so mechanically. Don't look at the shot meter like, let go now so it reaches the end of the shot meter. Of course, if you get badges like limitless range and long range, dead eye or mid range, dead eye, all these things are going to help. All right, so we got a little shooting drill just to test my shooting. I have an 81 standing mid. Uh, so these should be makes most of the time. Hopefully excellent releases. Again, you literally have to shoot with rhythm. Shoot when it feels like you should be releasing the ball. All right, so we'll do another shooting drill. Uh, this time from the three-point line. Let's see. A little test my skills right here. Toss it here, buddy. Another excellent release. And the Kobe release is awesome. I'm telling you about these two motion shots because it's a it makes it a little bit clearer when you should actually be releasing the ball because once the momentum stops swaying one way, you already know to let it go for the other way. And so that was just me fucking up right there. So anyway, just start utilizing some of these tips. Throw away square, look at your player, and just shoot with rhythm. You don't have to have the craziest shot, but you will definitely improve the quality of your shot. That bonus you get with the shot meter is, I mean, with the shot stick, is so substantial. It makes all the difference. I'd say the only time you should be shooting with square is if you want to come off the screen really quickly and there's somebody closing out and you have a dead eye and you're all right with shooting a contested shot because you can see just the square button is so inconsistent. Even if you shoot with rhythm or taking some of these tips, if you're not using the shot stick, it really feels like the shot stick is the number one thing this year, man. In my opinion, it's actually easier to shoot with rhythm with square than the shot stick. But the boost that you get with shooting with the shot stick is so big this year that it, I mean until they patch it and if they do patch it I feel like square is gonna be obsolete man anyway the end of the day it's, it's literally all about practice man if you practice the, short, the shot form enough times it will work and again don't practice the same terrible shot form if the shot form is not working for you don't be afraid to switch it out. Anyway, uh, if you guys have any additional tips, feel free to let me know in the comment section down below. I recommend y'all check the comment section to see if there are any. If you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like. Subscribe if you guys are new. 2K17 videos on the daily. I'm going to catch y'all in the next one. I'm out. Peace.